The ever-changing world of technology. It's a battle just to keep up. And it's even tougher for school districts with small budgets. Borger ISD thinks it's winning the battle with its robotics. I mean, think about our day and age. Technology is huge to these kids. I mean, when they go home, it's video games, TV, you know, their phones. They have phones every, everywhere I turn, their phones are out. And so to stay with the kids and to help them keep learning, you know, robo robotics just seems to fit perfectly into that. These Borger seventh graders use science, math, and critical thinking to program their robots to do various tasks. We make it forwards and backwards, two different types of turns, swing and point turn, clap on, clap on. We have a line sensor or a point that allows it to follow the line. Um, we, we talk about gear ratio and stuff, so you know, what gear is going to make go faster and to be able to pull things. The class is only a semester long, but Thompson says it's so popular, students fight to get in. Building the robot and engineering it, it gives me a challenge. I like building the robot because it's fun and like sometimes it confuses you, so yeah, it's like kind of a challenge to build it. And it's that challenge, Thompson says, that helps build the kind of thinking that's essential to pass the star. I mean, star test is all about taking one thing and another thing, putting it together and then having to come up with some answer. And so they're able to do that here.